Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. Today I'm in Scotland, even though it looks like a gin bottle, this is a whiskey bottle. This is Sea Shepherd Isla Single Malt Scotch Whiskey, Navy Strength, batch number one with 57.1%, product of Ireland, 700 milliliters. Now this is from Kirsch Import here in Germany, so this is basically a European exclusive. Whoops. Oh, it worked this time. We have an artificial cork. Um, we have white wax on it. Doesn't drip. Very, very good. I do like the color combination. Um, I'm not really sure if this is the perfect whiskey bottle, but this is basically the perfect gin bottle. This, this is something that's going to grab people's attention. Now, 10% of the turnover of this bottle, from the wholesaler's point of view, will be donated to Sea Shepherd. So, um... Over here in Germany, this bottle is recommended retail price of $59.90. So take off about 20 some percent, and that's your retail margin between 20 and 30 percent. So if you take off a quarter of that, you're going to look at about then about 38 euros. Take off another 20 some percent for our VAT over here. So from the 60 down to the 40, from the 40 down to the 30. So basically 3 euros, maybe 350 per bottle will be donated, donated to the Sea Shepherd um, mission. Now Sea Shepherd is um, an organization that has pledged to protect marine wildlife since 1977. I personally am not a great fan of Sea Shepherd. Uh, I think they're a little bit too radical. I think they've used violence too often in the past. I think they've destroyed private property of others. And that's not something you should do. Yes, you should protect the, the oceans. Yes, you should um, protest and you should actually try to limit the amount of um, pollution and environmental um, waste in our oceans. But there are certain limits that I think you should um, respect. And we don't want to become rebellious riots that destroy things. And um, some people say we need that in this um, world at the moment. But after um, the capital of the United States had been overrun by these um, Trump um, loyalists, I do not think that that's something we really want at the moment. All right, good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare it. No more politics. I'm sorry for even mentioning that. Um, I'm going to mention at the moment my favorite Isla cast strength wheat um, peated whiskey. Scarabus. The Scarabus, um, this is the batch strength with 57%. This is 57.1. Now, this is actually a wonderful um, example of the difference of design. Old school, twirly, tiny, tiny little um, things. New school. If you look at these two bottles, you'll see basically the difference between um, the two different um, parties of uh, the whiskey movement and design. This is the most innovative or one of the most innovative bottles I've seen recently. And this is one of the more, more traditional bottles. Hunter Lang is a traditional company. And yet I must admit I prefer the design of this bottle and I prefer the liquid of this bottle. Why? Well, I'll tell you. First of all, it has to do with the mouthfeel. Now, if I come over here to our Sea Shepherd Charity Bottling, whiskey base number 173884, by the way, with 57.1. It actually says on the back 100 proof. Uh, why 100 proof? Well, back then it was imperial proof and not American proof. American proof is basically what we have with, you take a 50 um, ABV is 100 proof. If you take 105 proof, for example, Glenn Fackler's 105, you get 60 percent and so the same thing here with 100 you get then instead of 105 60 you get 57.1 and that was where you would actually take the gunpowder and you'd see if it would burn or not if something was at proof now the nose has more of a earthy type of fall autumn leaves, composting, decomposting moment on here. Over here, I get a sweetness. I get a little bit of a salty maritime note, and I get some nice ashy type of a bonfire. Over here, I'm getting more of a 
of a smoked ham type of moment. More of a burning and a smoking of fish. Fish is not right here. It's more. This is more of a sardine, a salty type of fish. This is not fish. This is more of a of a leaf bonfire, more or less, in the, in the, in the fall where you put wet leaves on it. Ugh. All right, let's try it. I love this. Fifty-seven percent. Drank it pure. Um, cast strength. Lovely. Over here. Wow. Um, if it's too strong, you're too weak. That's me. Um, Fisherman Friends, by the way, that was a little bit of a commercial saying over here in Germany. And also the ending. It's more of a, um, a barbecue type of smokiness instead of a pure ashiness, which I like better, apparently. I'm not a big, big, big peat head, and I'm just learning now to actually um, enjoy the differences in the peated world of Eiler. This, not my wheelhouse, this, my wheelhouse. So I'm wondering if this is more the Koile, and I'm really wondering if this is more the Buna. All right, let's go over here to 57%. No burn, uh, t a little bit of alcohol towards the end, but nothing where I'm going, oh no, I'm gonna die, oh, it's a burn. This is a much, much hotter whiskey, which I translate into a much younger whiskey. I have the feeling that this is maybe five to six, five, seven years old, maybe. I have the feeling that this is like seven or eight or maybe even older. Um, might be wrong, but I actually feel like this is an older whiskey, not 20, not 30, not 18 years old, not even 12 year old, but still old enough to make a very nice, nice round package deal. And over here, um, it's actually crying for me to add a little bit of water to it and take it down to about 52% where it gets better. All right, so clean the palate. What really <laughs> disturbs me is the price. 60 euros, yes, three to four euros go per bottle to the um, Sea Shepherd organization. Bravo, bravo. Even if it was a 10 euro, so let's imagine this is a 50 euro bottling. And then you take a look at the, um, the bottle and you go, oh, look, you paid probably an extra five euros for this blue bottle. Do I, it's a bottle. I don't need blue. I don't need all this fancy stuff. At least I don't. I care more about what's in the bottle than the bottle itself. Now, I'm not a hipster. I'm not the person actually in the marketing department. I'm not trying to win new customers. I'm already sold um, before I even buy the bottle by what the, the label says. Isla single malt cast strength whiskey. Bam, buy it. Um, as long as it's not too expensive. Over here, of course, you're going more for the connoisseurs. You're going for the people that are older. You're going for the people who've had whiskey a few times that know things. That's what Hunter Lang's all about. Over here, it's a German importer. They're trying to expand into different markets. They're trying to get into the um, on sale, which means actually in the bars and the restaurants, and the off sale, which means more having it at home and actually buying it than maybe the supermarket and bringing it home. Um, all of these things are more towards the young new urban customer and this is something especially the sea shepherd thought there and the motto and also the um i like the little like the navy type of moment you have the the little um compass here with 100 proof you have here the different ports that you leave and so on it's beautifully beautifully done it's a beautiful beautiful bottle I just might be too old. It might be out of my price my price range as well as my age range, uh, range to get this. All right. Um, as I said, decomposing leaves. A little bit of maritime, but it's more of a, a um, smoky type of um, smoked sausage, smoked meats, smoked cheese. Actually, cheese is a good thing. It's more of a cheesy moment. More of a, um, I've had smoked Swiss cheese before. 
and that's more what we're going for. All right, good. One last time. Mm -hmm. To be honest, the 52% is actually where, my opinion, this whiskey shines better. The one in the proof is a nice little cool little thing, but um, I drink cast strength a lot. I drink barrel proof. Um, I'm, not the, I'm not a wuss that I used to be. And still the 57.1% was just a little bit too hot for me. Now there are many people out there who are going to go, I didn't notice, it's okay. And it is okay. And they'll be drinking this with 57% over at Scarabus goes, it's too soft, it's too round, it's too weak. They want to have a bam moment. Go for it. Um, one thing I didn't mention yet that I thought was kind of cool is the laser. Um, they lasered in here the information that's needed. Um, focus, 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 focus. And it doesn't look great. Um, so at least you can almost read it here. So the 13, whoops. And it's very slippery, by the way. It's a very slick bottle. There's no friction whatsoever here to hold it. Here, the black's at the top, yes. But down here, it's just, whoops. It could very easily slip out of your hands. All right. 13, 10, um, 10. So this was actually um, bottled on the 13th of October, 2010. Good job. All right, I'm giving it a C minus for the taste. Uh, if I put water in it, it goes up to a C. Over here, a B minus, much, much better. Value for money, I'm also giving it a C to C minus, 60 euros. Now, a friend of mine did a video of this as well, and he kind of went, hey, the new prices of Isla, think of the, I think of the last 10 Isla cast drink whiskey, whiskeys you bought from anyone, either from independent bottlers or standards, were any of them under 100 euros? It was like one. And so I can't really call this a bad deal. And so he gave it a very high mark for um, value for money. Now, unfortunately, I have this. I found this in Luxembourg for 35 euros. 35 euros. They have different tax laws over there. The normal price in Germany is 42 euros. I've seen it for 40. 20 euros difference between the two, despite the bottle design and the charity um, moment. And it tastes better. And so I would always recommend Scarabus, my personal opinion. You probably won't find this outside of Germany and or Europe. Um, this should be a worldwide wide release. Um, I know people in America at the normal Scarabus after a while, so I think they'll be getting the, the, cats, the cast strength as well. Watch out for it, um, buy it, enjoy it, and have a great day. So my question of the day is, is what is your favorite cast strength Isla single malt whiskey out there? Now, many of you are going to probably guess and say Lafroy cast strength, or you're going to have a committee release from Odd Bake, or you're going to have maybe something else. Um, Scarabus at the moment is what I know, and Scarabus is at the moment the one that I can rec recommend. Thank you very much. Please like, subscribe, tell others, maybe even share this video with others and show them how much I really enjoy the Scarabus. Roy loves it. I love it. Two interesting people that recommend it. Hmm. Thank you very much. I'll see you soon. Um, Whiskey Jason here. Bye-bye.